Hello everyone, so in today's tutorial, we are continuing from where we left off when we're learning how to set data in a local storage, get data from a local storage, and delete data from a local storage. But in today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to set objects inside a local storage, how to retrieve one, and how to delete one. And so you realize that the data the local storage actually stores strings of data it doesn't take in an object so the best way you can store an object is to turn it is to turn the object into a string so we have this button let's refresh our page and see what we have so we have this button called set data and it has an on click event with the function set data pass to it. So let's define that function. So set data. So let's say we have this data called data first name. Mustafa. Last name goes to my surname and page of equally goes to that. So we have this object that we want to store inside our local story. So the best way we need to do is is to turn this object into a string. So to do this, we'll say local, we are calling this say local dot set item and we are going to pass this key as user info so user info and then we are going to say json dot stringify because json dot stringify turns an object into a string and we'll pass the data into it save this we refresh Let's check our local storage for instance. Nothing is set. So now let's hit this. And let's check our local storage again. You realize that the key is there, which is user information. That's user info. And then we have the information stored as the first name, the last name, and the age, all stored inside. So if we want to retrieve this data which is this object that we turn into a string that is stored inside the local storage let's call this function get data we are going to pass this function to a button on on its own click so we're going to do let data equals local dot get item user info but let's bear it in mind first and foremost we'll console log this so that we see what happens so let's console this let's console log that and let's create a new Button. let's call this get data get data get data let's refresh this let's see what we have okay now so let's increase this so, yeah. Great. okay so we have get data so let's go to the console when we click on this we are getting this but this is of the type string we can check it by console login the type so console log type of if we refresh the page and we try this one more time we get a string but we need an object 
we need this particular object back so the way we go about this is since we are getting this data from the local storage which is coming as a string we may need to convert this back into um, we may need to convert this back into an object so to do this we can say the data that we are getting will be converted back as this data equals json dot pass and we're passing the data so now you realize that if we refresh this we we'll get the data we get an object we get an object so if you want to set an object inside the local storage this is how you go about it you set it and then you pass the json.stringify and then you pass the data into that function if you want to get you may need to pass it back as json pass to pass it back as a json object now let's say remove item goes to that function I will call this as local the rem uh, remove item which goes to user info we are going to define a new button for that so this becomes remove item and I, I can call this remove data so let's refresh this let's check our local storage user information is there so let's remove it let's check again nothing is there so you see we can set one when we check data is there if we console log over here we didn't console log anything so when we are getting the information we'll console log it so when we get the information it's over there this is still there we can remove the item and it's gone so this is how you set a um, adjacent object to inside a local story so i hope this tutorial has been you know helpful to you when you choose to develop a project and you need to utilize local story thank you so i'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye